Are you serious? Yo, so this is gonna be a tour of my desk setup that's right in front of me. I use it for both YouTube and gaming. There's a lot of cool things to show you, so I hope you guys like it. All right, where do I start? Let's uh, start with the chair. This here is like a mesh ergonomic chair. It's from Staples. I believe the name of it is like Hiking or something like that. I'll have a link to it below, but let's move that out the way. Next up, we got the desk. This is one of those electric sit stand desks. You got the control panel right here. Ever since I got it, I've been mainly standing whenever I'm using my computer and I love it. My only complaint was that it came with this little dent right here. Anyway, to the left and right of the desk, you'll see these drawers. Those are from a store called Michaels. They're kind of similar to the Ikea drawers that you see around. And uh, on top of the left one is the HP Omen 30L gaming PC. Uh, I'll put the specs up here if you're interested. On the right one is the M1 Mac Mini that just came out late 2020. That's where I do a lot of video editing and work stuff. But both of these computers hook up to this one monitor in the middle here. And that's a 32 inch LG monitor. And as you can see on top of that is the Logitech C922 webcam. And for this monitor, I took off the stand that came with it and I hooked it up to this arm here from a brand called Mount Up. It was just off Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks, but that gives me much more space on the desk. And it also allows me to adjust the monitor up and down and pivot left and right. There's a lot more freedom and I think it looks really cool. We got the keyboard here, which is the Logitech MX Keys. I love this thing because number one, it's wireless. Number two, it's backlit. So when you put your hand on it, the keys will light up. Number three, it doesn't take normal batteries. It's actually rechargeable with USB-C. And the fourth and final thing is that this is the perfect keyboard if you're somebody who has a PC and a Mac. The keys here are labeled for both operating systems. And you also have these three buttons here that can switch between three different systems. So the mouse right next to it is the Logitech G604 gaming mouse. It is also wireless, but this one takes a AA battery. I love this mouse except for just recently one of the macro buttons Ooh. broke off on the side here the reason i like it so much is it's got these two macro buttons right next to the left click so when i'm video editing i use those a lot and sometimes when i'm gaming those might be some sort of key bind or even my push to talk button another feature it's got is the infinity scroll wheel so you could just kind of scroll it and let it go all right, so before we get to the rest of this, let's take a look under the desk. You'll see I got this foot hammock here, which is actually really nice to have. When you're sitting down, you could put your feet up and that just hooks onto the desk on both ends. You'll also see a lot of my cables here. The cable management's not too great, but a lot of the stuff is just clipped onto the bottom of the desk with these adhesive clips. I also have a surge protector coming from the wall and that's mounted under the desk where everything's plugged in. And that just keeps all the cables off the floor floor and I just have this one. Um, you'll see on both of the legs I have these fold out headphone stands on both sides. These headphones are the HyperX Cloud Stinger, the wired version, and they just plug into my Mac over there. And then these ones are wireless called the HyperX Cloud Stinger Core. I normally would just have one pair of headphones, but these aren't compatible with Mac, so I just use my old ones right there. But if you're ever looking for a headphone brand, HyperX is really good. They're like the only brand I found to be really comfortable for long hours. So another way that I get these two computers to work together with this one setup is this USB switch hub here. It's got one cable going to the PC, another one going to the Mac, and it's got a button on the back that when you press it, it'll switch between each computer. All right, now I'll show you my microphone setup so i got this sure sm7b this thing is a beast it's been out since like the early 70s i believe and it's still one of the best and uh, that's attached to this rode boom arm and if you follow this cable it plugs into this thing called the cloud lifter this thing basically just amplifies the signal and then that goes into my mixer right here this thing is awesome it's called the go xlr has all sorts of different settings and stuff on it it's got a built-in voice changer you could use here. It can make your voice really deep or really high pitch. I can sound like this. Or I can sound like this. It's mainly for like streamers and YouTubers and stuff like that. And this thing just simply has a USB cable that comes out and plugs into my PC. Unfortunately, it's not compatible with my Mac. So some stuff on the desk here. This is a wireless charger, just a simple one from Amazon. The reason I got this one is because it plugs in with USB-C. Most of my stuff 
plugs in with USB-C. So my keyboard, that wireless charger, my headphones down there, my phone. I basically want everything to just use one cable because it's just so much more convenient that way. Anyway, next to that charger, we got my uh, Logitech Z200 speakers, I think. Just a basic pair of speakers. They're pretty cheap, but they match my uh, setup theme here with the black and white. Next to that, you'll see my Xbox One controller on this little charger thing. See, it's got this red light here. That means it's charging, it turns green when it's done. And it's got this rechargeable battery pack. Much better having that than just replacing two AA batteries all the time. We got the Echo Show 5. That's obviously an Amazon Alexa product. I use it to control different smart home stuff or, you know, just look at the time. Then we got this lamp from Alki. It's a touch lamp, so you just tap on it to change the brightness. And also it's capable of RGB, meaning you could have all sorts of different colors. Unfortunately, it's not smart or Wi-Fi controlled, but it does the job. Sometimes I use this PC to play VR games, and this is the Oculus Quest 2. This is a separate head strap that doesn't come with it that I bought on Amazon. Here's one of the controllers, and what I usually do is actually use these headphone stands to hold the controllers as well. That pretty much wraps it up. Check out the videos on the screen here, and I'll see you next time.